Hi guys, my name is Gita Abiola Loyakule. I want you to be watching Nas TV Africa. They are giving premium content. Shout out to Nas TV Africa. Nas TV Africa. Nas TV Africa. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kola State, ably represented by Haji Adamdala Yusuf, the Honorable Commissioner for Business Innovation. This is a brief speech of uh, the distinguished Senator Salim Mustafa representing Kola Central. He tried his best to be here, but it was uh, unavoidably absent as he was away from Nigeria on official assignment. I'm going to read through this uh, prepared speech. Kindly permit me to maintain the existing protocol. He said, I stand before you today with profound gratitude, acknowledging the pivotal role that organizations like Quasma, Quara Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture play is shaping the discourse that ultimately enriches our government's plan and intervention in the agricultural sector. Agriculture, without a shadow of doubt, is the lifeblood of our nation's economy. It is a cornerstone that contributes significantly to our grown domestic product, underpinning the very fabric of our economic stability. The fertile soil of Nigeria coupled with the industrial spirit of our people. Make agriculture a linchpin industry that can, no, that can never be ignored. It is in the fields and the farms across our nation that the prosperity of our people take its root. Let us not overlook the unsung heroes of our agricultural landscape. The distinguished senator recognized the smallholder farmers this man and woman, numbering a staggering over 38 million, represents a commendable 20% of our nation's total population. Their toil and sweat form the bedrock upon which our agricultural sector thrives. They are the ones who till the land, plant the seeds, and affairs the crops that sustain us all. It is imperative that we recognize their contributions and ensure they have the necessary support and resources to continue their fighter work. The distinguished senator admitted the plan by President Ahmed Bola Tinubu in ensuring the food security in our nation, among which is the incorporation of food and water availability into scheme of National Security Council, creation of uh, 500,000 acres of arable land mapped for farming. Immediate release of fertilizer, grain for the household of farmers. Immediate creation of National Commodity Board to review the prices and maintain the strategy for the reverse. And the last year round production of food instead of seasonal to ensure access to food. To complement this, the distinguished senator, Senator Salim Mustafa, the Turaki of Ilorin, in the Senate, is championing in the hollow house of the Senate his proposition to construct near farm silos. is a stride towards mitigating post harvest wastage. A formidable adversary to our agricultural productivity, post harvest losses have been a perennial challenge in our agricultural sector. And Senator Turaki's vision to address this issue head on is both commendable and forward thinking. By reducing these losses, we not only conserve valuable resources, but also ensure that the fruit of our farmers' labor reach the market and ultimately the tables of our citizens. Moreover, the Senator, in his own stride, at the Harlow Chamber of Senate, seeks to address the infrastructural deficit that plagued our rural areas through the establishment of the National Infrastructure Development Commission. It is believed that poor maintenance culture is the Achilles heel of our infrastructure 
resonate with the need for lasting solutions. Our rural areas, as the chairman of agriculture and the rural development, where agriculture tribes have long suffered from inadequate infrastructure, hindering the transportation of goods and access to market, the National Infrastructural Development Commission. We represent a significant step towards addressing these challenges and creating an environment conducive to agricultural growth. In the broader context of government policies, initiatives such as irrigation for year-round farming, increased access to finance, and the establishment of commodity both are integral to fostering a conducive environment for agricultural business and ensuring food security. These policies recognize the multifaceted nature of the challenges facing our agricultural sector and aim to provide holistic solutions. Yet, let us not forget the personal vision of Turaki and in his strike and intention to partner with Kwasima, a feature that involves the enhancement of mechanized farming, the importation of modern farming techniques, and the exposure of our youth to the first opportunity within agricultural value chain. The key is to unlocking the potential of our young populace, addressing unemployment, and fostering a new generation of agribusiness entrepreneurs. The future of agriculture lies not only in sustaining our current practice, but also in embracing innovation and equipping our youth with the skills and knowledge needed to drive agricultural transformation. In conclusion, the distinguished senator extended his heartfelt gratitude to Kwasima for this esteemed platform and congratulate the new leadership. I hug you to persevere in your partnership with the government, continually proposing initiatives that will expand the horizons of the agricultural sector and create greater opportunities for our people. Together, we can cultivate a brighter future for Nigeria. Thank you and God bless.